Today, we will be doing a basic motor startup and a rotational test on an ABB ACH 580 drive. We will also show you how to properly wire the drive to a power source and show you what settings to set and program through the VFD for the application to safely work. The first step that you will need to do is simply remove the cover of the drive so you can have access to the terminals. L1, L2, and L3 are the terminals for line power input. Normally, the drive will need to be wired to run with three-phase power to be able to work at full capacity, but for this demonstration, we will just be connecting a single-phase power source to this drive. You should always check the stickers located on the side of the drive to make sure you will be operating at a safe load and amp level, as well as any other important information for voltage ratings so you can properly and safely use this drive. Now you can wire up the motor leads to T1, T2, and T3, or UVW terminals. It is also important to remember to connect your ground wire as well. By checking the sticker information on the side of the drive we are using, we notice that our 480 volt transformer is set too high for this 240 volt drive. So we will have to rewire our transformer so we can safely energize the drive. The connection we will need is the 4 and 5 jumper and the 2 and 3 jumper, with a line coming off of each one. We remove the line jumper in the middle that would have supplied the 480 volt power and properly reconfigured our connection so we can now safely energize the drive. Once the drive has been energized, you will get a startup assistance screen that will take you through the setup for the drive. Select the following. Set up drive now. Commission the drive. Select US standard. Power and horsepower, where it will then communicate and upload the data to the drive. The non-blinking green light display on the face of the drive indicates that there are no faults so you can move on to the rest of the settings. It initially shows that we have a 3 amp current and a 1760 RPM is set for the speed. These are default settings and need to be set correctly for your application. To make sure you have the correct motor rated values, you will need to check the data on the nameplate of the motor you will be using. We will be running at 230 volts for this video, so we will use the 230 volt selections as displayed on the motor card. Because of this, we will be changing the speed to 1725 RPM and 1.6 amps. From there, you will go through the rest of the settings to make sure everything properly corresponds to the test that we will be running. With everything set up, we can now do a rotational test to verify the rotation of the motor. Again, it is imperative that before running a test on the drive, make sure you put all the motor values in correctly and make sure you have the line voltage set correctly in order to avoid any faults. Having now switched to hand mode, we can press the hand button on the lower right hand side of the keypad to run our test. Once we started the test, you can see the frequency going up in the right hand corner. 10 Hz is a good amount to select when running an initial test. Our motor shaft is turning counterclockwise for forward, however the drive displays that it is running clockwise. We will need to switch the motor leads to change the direction. To safely do this, we will have to shut off the drive and let the power bleed out.
After five minutes, we can service the drive. In this case, swap any two of the three motor leads. With our leads now switched, the motor and display are running clockwise. By pushing the up or down arrow button, we can control the speed that the motor is running. Step the motor up in speed 10 to 20% at a time until full speed is reached. Verify full speed load amps the motor is using and record it. Now you have a baseline load level point for future reference. Since we have officially reached the max speed and output that we programmed, and the display direction and motor direction are the same, we can now stop the motor. We have now completed a basic motor startup and rotational test on an ABB ACH 580 drive. For more information on the ABB ACH 580 drive, visit us at gelco.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be notified whenever new videos are posted every week.